Hey my babies, we're back with another video. And with today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a banner. Now, since I started my YouTube um, channel, I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments in my DMs asking me who made my YouTube banner. I make my own banner, obviously, because that's the purpose of making this video, to show you guys the easy way and a simple way to make your banners. Stay tuned to next week's video so you get a review on this week and you can get yourself one too. Let's get into this video. Come on. gonna do when it comes to making our banner is crop the pictures and as you see when a lot of people do their YouTube banners the pictures are crop and it's nice and neat the app that we are using is I'm gonna pronounce it as Baz art that's what I'm gonna say it's this first one right here we click onto it and you want to click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and it gives you two choices you either start from scratch or you choose a photo or video Obviously, starting from scratch is a little headache. We're going to work smarter, not harder. And we're using choose photos and videos. I went on to Ari page, I think uh, Instagram, Twitter page, to find the perfect pictures that I thought will work with a thing that I'm trying to do for the banner. So mainly I picked all of all the photos that she was wearing something black in. And I already went ahead and cropped the pictures, but I'm just going to show you guys how it works when you use Baz Art. So one picture I'm gonna crop is this one, this um, this selfie type of picture. And in order to crop the picture down below, you will press the magic and it will do it work, it will do its thing, okay, pow. And just like that, the picture is cropped. And I just size it up because at the bottom it has something I don't want in there and bang okay you simply just save the uh, picture and that's that it's saved it's really not that hard you just continue to do that with the rest of your pictures your photos that you want to be cropped and yes you do have to pay to use the actual um tool magic i think it's only 11.99 there are other apps that you can use like pitch uh art and another app that's called Eraser. But sometimes that's a headache. You're working harder. You can pay a little $11.99. Let me pop in here real quick to let you guys know how important it is to know the theme of your banner. So you will see that in the next clip when I'm showing you how to search for the backgrounds. But just know before you crop any pictures, please know your theme. You go on to Google and you search whatever type of background that you want if you want a pink uh plain background you go onto images and then on the side of images not on the side of images right below images you see right next to iphone right there you see like the the uh, three lines you click on that and you really want a good quality photo for your background so you have to press hd and then you search and you look for whatever. I know right now on the phone it don't look HD. But that's besides the point. <laughs> because once you actually make your banner, it's going to look and give a good quality. You could use Google or you could also use Pinterest. I like to use Pinterest. And you just search on Pinterest, whatever background you would like to use. So like I said, we're going to say, for instance, pink. Pink wallpaper, pink background. So you choose whatever you want, and then you'll use that as your background. With the first banner that I am doing is very, very basic because I just want to show you guys the steps of what you have to do when it comes to making your own YouTube banner. So while we're doing the banners, of course, we're going to be using Canva. Canva is very, very easy. You could use it on your phone. You could use it on your computer. You could use Canva, whatever. I use Canva. 
I use Canva for basically everything. When you're going to Canva, let's go to the home page because it's my stuff is still open. You can type in an icon above YouTube uh, channel art because that already gives you the perfect size that you need. Now, if you have looked onto YouTube Studios, if you ever tried to upload your um, banner, they give you the size of how your banner should be. So we're just gonna click YouTube channel art. You see they have plenty of different other designs, but we're gonna start from scratch because you wanna use your own. So we're gonna click on a blank page. So we create our own. And as you see right here, this is the size and this is how it's gonna look. So, like I said, I already have my thing together. I'm just gonna redo what I had already done already and just show you guys the basics of how to make your YouTube banner. We go to camera roll and I have a gray background ready. Okay. And as I'm doing that, I'm making sure this gray background fits the fits the actual blank page. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it, as it fits, that's all that matters, okay? So down below, you'll see that you can lock that actual background, boom, just like that. So it won't go anywhere and it won't move. So you won't have to worry about that. Now it's time to add the font, okay? Canva already have text ready for you, but also you can do click in the search bar you know, different type of styles of text that you want to use. You can't use everything. Everything is not available. I have paid to have Canva Pro because I needed hella things for my thumbnails. And I know I'm going to use it a lot. So, yeah. For the main name of the channel, whatever your name is on the channel, I will personally have that in bold. Because that's what you need to see. And that's what's going to stand out the most onto your um, banner. You're going to pick something bold. Um, and I like to pick something fancy, you know what I'm saying? Like a nice, fancy, bold font. I think I might use this font because it look nice. Um, what color are we using? So I'm going to go to effects, right? And I like to go to the neon. And with this color, I, I think I want a little bit of tints. Not too much, though. I'm going to give the intensity about... Fifty. That's how much the attention, intensity is going to be. It's, it's going to be about fifty for that, okay? Stretch this out. Ari the Dawn, okay? And now we're going to add the photos. We're going back to camera roll. Um... We're going to use this picture. Stretch it out. Um, I just move the, the name towards the middle so it can kind of fit, you know what I'm saying? I don't want too much. Got Ari right there, I think. I'm going to shrink her a little because... Things look different once they get on a computer screen, once they get on the uh, TV and stuff like that. The size will become different. So it's definitely best to make sure, I like to make sure everything's in the middle when I'm doing my banner. Because I want everything to also to be seen and uh, on the banner onto the computer. Because once it look right on the computer, then it's going to look right on your phone, and it's going to look right on the uh, actual television. So I'm going to add another picture of Ari. With this one, I'm going to flip it. Flip, flip it horizontal. So it be on the other side. I think I want to shrink this one too. Okay. Like that, like so. Okay, so I know that's cute, but we have to add some more. So I like to, I'm going to go back to the text. I'm going to use some cursive. Right? Um, because what I'm about to do is 
I'm going to add like the subtitles. So whatever your channel is going to be consumed with, make sure you put that in your subtitles. So for example, so you guys can understand what I'm talking about, we're going to use fashion as one. Okay. Next, we're going to use beauty as another subtitle. Oh. And then lastly, we're going to choose the lifestyle. It might seem typical, but hey, that's what a lot of girls do on their channel. And I think the perfect placement to put this, I think I still want to size it down. So it can fit right up under there, right? Size it down some more. Because I need this to be perfect and not all in her face. The color I'm going to choose is, am I going to keep it black? Um, the white is cute, but I don't know. Should I keep it white? Because if I keep it black, then I will do go to the effects and go to shadows and then turn the shadow to white. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to actually turn this font color into white. And. Nah, I'm going to keep it white. And then I am going to have it have some shadow in the background. But the shadow color has to be black. And I think that looked pretty decent. When it comes to your banner, sometimes people like to add their Instagram. Uh, they Twitter, they social media at names on there. So the icons that I am going to use is Instagram, of course. Um, like you just saw what I did. Let me backtrack because I feel like you guys may not know how to do that. So even though this is in my recent, go to elements down below. Once you get hit to elements, you go to the search bar up top and then you type in whatever, um, social media logo you want to use. So right now I'm about to use Instagram logo, right? And I would like to choose the white Instagram logo because as you see, it's going to turn black. It fits with, with the theme that I'm using, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to also use, I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in Twitter logo because you know, people be on Twitter or not. Okay, Twitter um what else should i use i think i'm gonna use tiktok i'm gonna use the this one of course because you know tiktok is shit popping now move this over so it could be like in the center or whatnot okay so this is about how straight i'm gonna get the little icon the little logo icons but yeah, so I got Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, right? So what I am about to do is the at name, the, the social media name down below. Search bar is fancy because it gives me the fancy fonts that I like to use. So I'm going to use this one right here. This one is real cute. I just mentioned that before. So the Instagram name is the cow real sister all right and then i'm gonna change the color of the font uh because if i keep it gray hmm do i want to keep it black do i want to keep it black and then give it like a shadow let's see how this works a little shadow thing behind it Hmm. I think I want the font size to go just a little bit. I'm put to a hundred. Boom. 
Payal. And then that's about it for a simple type of uh, banner. Here's the end results of how you make your banner. And I hope you guys like it. This is very simple. But I also went ahead and made a few other banners as well. Please leave in the comment down below. Let me know which banner do you like the most. So yeah, that's about it. And don't forget you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week's video. Bye my babies.